Greetings, good people. Greetings. All right. So I, I want to get into this love and hip hop Miami drama that's going on now with Von Shea, Amara La Negra, and Shay Johnson. All right. I recently uploaded a video. Make sure you check that out. Of Shay Johnson, aka Bucky, going at it with Eliza Rain, who has a child with the rapper Future. And Shay Johnson called Eliza Rain out of her name. She called her an orangutan. Uh, she was going off. The footage is on the previous video. Make sure you check that out so you can be caught up. All right. So I'm catching up on the episodes of Love and Hip Hop Miami, right? So I'm seeing what's going on in the in the in the blogs. And Von Shay, she is really out here losing her marbles. Okay. I don't know if she had a lot of marbles to begin with, but she is calling she said that she called ice on a Marla Negra. It's not funny, but it's so ridiculous that it's making me laugh. And she is still stomping richard's name in the mud y'all saying that that chain that he gifted rick ross was fake it's just a hot mess all right but what i want to do is i want to talk a little bit about the last episode of love and hip-hop miami kind of give like a little review and then i'll go into the von shay and amara la negra drama you know i really shay johnson is really something else she wants to be in everybody else's business but when production tries to get her to talk about this man that ain't really her man allegedly she wants no parts anyway so the last episode opened up we saw eliza rain again she is the baby mother of future she is being accused of trapping future uh with a baby that's a whole nother story so they're meeting up and they have like what seems to be like a, a play date i guess and eliza is telling amara that shay i'm gonna call her bucky because i knew her as bucky Okay, when she was on Flavor of Love. So Eliza Rain is basically telling Amara that, you know, Bucky was at Safari's birthday party. Now, this is the same Shay, right, that didn't even like the fact that Amara and Safari were kind of dating. But there she was posted up taking pics at the birthday party like she's some sort of first lady of a rap group. All right. Amara La Negra didn't go because in the episode before the last episode, her and Safari kind of got into it. Now, we already know that the relationship between Safari and Amara is fake. OK, Amara already came out and said that, that was done for a storyline. So I'm not even going to go into anything Safari and, and Amara. All right. Now, Shay. She was made aware of the altercation that took place between Safari and uh, and Amara. Maybe that's why Shay went, because it was fake. It's done for a storyline. Anyway, Eliza, she points out that Shay is miserable and she's not a friend to Amara. I agree with that. I think Amara is, I don't know if she's naive or she just is not confrontational and she doesn't want any problems. But Shay has proved time and time again that she is very, very, very envious and angry with uh as it pertains to amara and amara's being so naive she keeps forgiving her i forgive you we're friends that girl is not your friend and neither is von Shay. and it's time for amara to kind of stand up for herself and just keep it moving and Shay is very fake. She is so fake trying to put on this peacemaker vibe. I got to get these two ladies to sit down and talk. No, you're excited that somebody has a problem with Amara because you secretly can't stand Amara. You jealous of that girl. Anyway, so <laughs> Eliza Rain is pointing out that, you know, Shay is miserable. She's not a friend to Amara. And Eliza says that Shay stole that girl's man. So I'm like, wait, what? So the story goes that Fabo... The guy that uh, Shay is dating and has a child with was or still is engaged to a woman in Milwaukee and has a family. It's also alleged that the Tesla that he gave to Shay at uh, their baby's first birthday party, that the Tesla belongs to his fiance. Let me tell you something. I was minding my business. Not really, but I was watching the episode. So I'm like, you know, listening. I'm folding towels and I'm listening here and there. Girl, all of a sudden, I hear Tasha K. I'm like, what the I look on the TV screen, and Tasha K is saying that Shay's baby father has a fiance that live in Milwaukee. When I tell you, I had to pause the TV, and I was, I don't even know why I was laughing. It was so unexpected. I just can't. So I said to myself, oh, dear, oh, dear. All right. So I think that Shay doesn't like Eliza because Eliza is basically exposing Shay's business, just like Shay has a tendency to do to other people. 
anyway, you shift gears and we see Von Shea and Shea. And this scene was hilarious to me. They're sitting in a restaurant. They're at the bar. Um, Shay is pretending to be, like I said, this peacemaker by sitting, you know, with somebody who disrespected Amara, who is supposed to be Shay's friend. So anyway, Shay is very jealous of Amara. Like I said, it, it's obvious. It's blatantly obvious. And Von Shea, she then asked Shay, who is this girl in the media claiming to be Fable's fiance? Let me tell y'all something. Who knew, right, that asking Shay about her man, her man's fiance would get her to shut her big mouth? Who knew? You guys know Bucky got a big mouth. She always got something to say about somebody else. Production was trying to get her. Production was trying to get her to, you know, own up to what's going on and to tell her story. Baby, she would not talk. She looks so dumb not wanting to address this situation. And I said to myself, is it because she knew that this man was in a relationship? And maybe she thought by having a baby with him, it would make him like yours forever girl mm -mm -mm. i have a strong feeling that shay knew about the relationship that that man allegedly let's just say allegedly because we don't know if it's true but um i don't know i don't know shay strikes me as a type that you know she will know that a man has like a wife or a fiance or be in a relationship and still mess with him her mouth is so big that if she was like done wrong by this guy she would be airing him out. You know what I'm saying? Like if she found out like, oh, I had no idea he had a fiance. She would be airing him out because her mouth is so big. She got a big mouth. Anyway, production tried to get her to discuss her business. And like a coward, she didn't. She also left the restaurant. <laughs> she was like, good luck with that. I'm out. I'm telling y'all, Shay knows about that man's situation. And she's not doing a good job of, of hiding it. Then the episode goes into uh, Trina and Zoe. Trina is miserable. Um, Trina is, I don't know. I, I think that there's something deeper, but I won't even go there. And I think that Trina was very rude to Zoe upon meeting her, probably because she, because of her physical appearance. You know, Trina strikes me as that type of person. She comes across very, you know, elitist and, you know, self-centered a little bit. But anyway, we're skipping all of that, all right? Um, maybe another time. So we move on to this fake sit-down that uh, Shay organized. So Eliza and Amara are on one side of the table, and Von Shay and Shay are on the other side of the table. So it seems that Shay, to me, is excited about someone having an issue with Amara, like I said before. So Amara and Eliza, they show up to sit down with Shay and Von Shay. Von Shay, she doesn't even know what her issue is. Like, she's so erratic. She sounds like a child. She just wants to fight Amara. She she is like, for somebody who has, who says that they have a PhD, how is it that you're not able to express your feelings using your words? You can't articulate your emotions? I'm, I'm totally confused. Amara said that Von Shea is a deeply troubled person that needs help. Yes, Amara, you are absolutely right. And I think we're all seeing that very clearly, okay? Von Shea, of course, she threw a drink then all hell broke loose, just like she did at the poker game. Nothing was resolved, and Von Shea looks stupid once again, okay? So Von Shea, she proceeds to call Amara a whore. Um, then Von Shea says, I'm 24, I'm married, and I'm happy. <laughs> As we can see how everything is playing out, uh, that didn't age very well, sweetheart, all right? So we shift gears and we move on. I'm going to get into Shay and her rent-a-man. That's what I'm going to call Fabo. He's her rent-a-man. So Shay claims that, you know, there's a random bitter B word claiming to be Fabo's fiance. And I just said Shay really is a loud mouth clown. And I think that she knows that um, dude is lying. But she has to save face because she's that desperate. There's a lot of women who do stuff like that. They'll know that their man has... They do whatever they do, and they call the other woman a B-word, and they attack the other woman, and they just make it seem like their home is so happy. Anyway, this is why he was a mystery at her baby shower. Remember when she had, like, a baby shower, and she revealed to people that she was pregnant? And the father, her own brother, didn't even know who the hell the father was of this unborn child at the time. So I thought that was interesting. Could it be that he was kind of, like, wrapping things up with his other family? Anyway, so we see MJ in his hat. He shows up um, while Shay and Fabo, they're moving. I guess they're moving out of an apartment into a house, according to Shay. And he's confronting Fabo, MJ, that is, about being, you know, disrespectful to his mama. So security had to step in. They exchanged words. MJ, to me, it seemed like he didn't want no smoke. But I applaud his attempt to stick up for his mama, though. Now, 
I think my theory is this. The reason why uh, Fabo is able to disrespect Shay's mother, in my opinion, and, you know, be dismissive to NJ is because I feel that Shay talks mad ish about the mother, her mother and her brother to Fabo. And I bet you Shay told that man that her mama ain't ish and that MJ is her favorite. All types of dysfunctional stuff. If you guys remember when they were all on Iyanla's show, um, Shay was very rude and she was very aggressive toward her mom. You know, she talked about her mom not being there, her mom treating her funny. And that MJ, and they have another uh, sibling as well. It's two boys and then it's Shay. And MJ was the favorite, according to Shay. That's her experience. So... I don't doubt for one second to garner some sympathy that she probably told that man all types of stuff. Like my mother's going to try to control you. Don't let her talk to you that way. And don't da 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 da. MJ seems to think that this man has some hold on Shay. Who knows? It's just, it's either way. It's a hot mess. Okay. Um, what else did I put on here? Uh, you know, another thing that I noticed when MJ was walking off, because Shay came out and she kind of broke it up, broke up the altercation, she told her brother to, like, you know, back off and stay out of her business. She has some damn nerve telling MJ to fall back when she is always in Amara's business 24-7. Remember when MJ and Amara were dating? She put herself in the middle of that, and she did not have to. All right, now, so now that we're done with that little mini recap, mini review, um... On social media, all like I said, all hell is breaking loose with this Von Shea girl. She is a hot, stankin' mess, all right? So this is according to uh, On Site, right? Rapper Gunplay's wife, Von Shea, claims the infamous chain that he gifted Rick Ross in the midst of creating their daughter's GoFundMe was fake. Now, here's what I don't understand. I thought Von Shea was the one that made the GoFundMe. Why is Von Shea trying to make it seem like Richard made the GoFundMe? I, they're all a mess. They're all a hot mess. All right. So this is what Von Shea wrote. Uh, this is the last rumor I'm addressing the infamous Ross chain uh, scandal. This chain was supposed to be given at my baby shower. Ross didn't show and frankly didn't make it due to family issues. Richard wanted to upgrade the chain once we were casted on Love and Hip Hop. We argued for months about him doing it, especially since my family was still helping us financially. Oh, yes. If you're not aware, Von Shea revealed on a podcast that her mother and father were not only taking care of her financially, they were also taking care of Richard financially as well. So she aired that out, especially since my family was still helping us financially. Our daughter needed the money the most then. In May, he came up with the new design and got it made against my wishes. The same month, my daughter was supposed to have a second surgery. The chain was a promo brand deal for his label, uh, I think animal shelter, that's supposed to be abbreviated to mean animal shelter. Uh, the chain was discounted and he paid $2,400 with an outstanding balance of $600. The diamonds are whatever that is, uh, and will pass the diamond tester. Lord, she aired everything out. He was upset about how bad the Ruby quality was as well. I have no reason. Why do people always say I have no reason to lie? Like, that doesn't mean that you're you're honest. I have, why would this person lie? I have no reason to lie. Yeah, you do because it's going to give you attention and because, you, because you're a liar. Anyway, I have no reason to lie about a fake chain that I was against from jump. Now look at all the drama over this chain. Y'all came for me for not speaking up. Now y'all came for me for speaking up. Proof in the pudding. All right, so what chain? This is the chain that, child, this is, this is so embarrassing. This is uh, Richard. Gifting a chain to Rick Ross as he lays down in his bed. This is, I, I can't show this. This is disgusting. And people were criticizing him because there was a GoFundMe that was put up for their daughter's medical expenses because she was born with a genetic heart defect. So this video was also circulating at the time that the GoFundMe was still up. So what happened was people started to request refunds, I guess, and took their money back from the... Um, from the GoFundMe after they saw this video. So basically, Von Shea, I can't watch this. This is sick. Von Shea is airing out the fact that the chain was fake. But wait, y'all, there's more. This is Va Lord, this is Von Shea. Shout out to Live Bites on Instagram. She is airing Amara La Negra out 
is this does she think that this is going to solidify her for another season i want her gone her and shay can go they they bring absolutely positively uh nothing all right y'all buckle up it's a lot of profanity because this girl's mouth is disgusting warning 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 all right like to hear it here it go y'all lord shit the fuck out that i am over this oh my god i want y'all to go on my page right now scroll through my shit and go tell me all the pictures and the dates that i've known amada we sitting in there with each other's kids matter of fact if I, this bitch only know me for a few months oh. then how the fuck did i know and i'm sitting in the house and i got oh my god pictures of the random ass niggas she picked up off the street staying on her couch to watch her girls from free the you street everybody know you taking care of your kids bitch you're a liar you literally take random ass motherfuckers off the banana boat oh my god the bitch literally sat there at mother's day's brunch talking about some oh yeah i picked him up at the street he just came over here illegally and he's staying on my couch to watch my girls if it wasn't for me her girls will been still in that motherfucking bathroom who the fuck leaves their kids they twin girls in the bathroom with cheesecake factory Fucking with a random ass nigga that's drunk for over 30 minutes. If I didn't say, damn, Amada, where's your girls at? You wouldn't even fucking blink. If my daughter was not sick, I would have never done this show, y'all. And I got receipts. I got pictures of this nigga holding the girls. Like, come on. You want to sit here and talk about Allie ain't a motherfucking father? You're a fucking liar. You're a liar. You're doing shit for a storyline. Of the random ass niggas she picked up off the street staying on her couch to watch her girls from free i'm gonna air all this shit the fuck out oh my god i'm over this so basically she accusing amara lenegra of having strangers watch her children my god there's more she says she called uh ice immigration services on amara lenegra y'all on site got the exclusive like to hear it here it go her house guy yeah you see the, you see the fucking immigrant yes right here in this corner a random guy so then when it came out she tried to lie oh i was homeless with him bitch how the fuck was you homeless with him and he just said he'd been on the boat tired no food no water then we were trying to be good friends and tell her like girl you need to get that man out your house because they just passed the law here if you're harboring a fugitive you're going to prison so <laughs> wait yes and then i my petty self contacted ice <gasps> yeah <laughs> yeah wait <laughs> because of amara yes she was trying to hurry to listen closely to what her dumb self is saying listen closely fuck up get that man out of her, her crib like yes bitch you're funny and i'm hilarious you want to laugh wish death on my child Hold on, I'm, wait I'm, a minute but this is i don't believe amara wish death on her child this girl is unhinged listen listen to what she said this is my mentor in the secret service he has contacts in ice on july 29th at 10 26 a.m he sent me the ice tip form so i can turn her to fucking was amada having sex? she just basically made her mentor an accomplice for a possible false report made to ice <sighs> yo this girl is a trip sex with safari or was she lying when she, she said that she had him, they was fucking before Love and Hip Hop Family Reunion in Jamaica. So they Safari were, was fucking on Amada. Yes. During, but during him being with Erica, though, you're saying, or this is like, yeah. So catch this. Me and Shay, oh. she told um, Amada, like, girl, he's in Jamaica with Erica. Like, our sources are saying X, Y, Z. Oh no, he's there with his sister. What fucking sister, bitch? See, this is where she's an idiot. Uh, uh, Safari has two sisters, one of whom is very active on social media, Niqua. And that's exactly who he was with. What do you mean, what sister? He has two sisters. So she's trying to say he don't have a sister. You can go to her page. She's actually into all holistic therapy and stuff like that. She has products. But yeah, she, and she's very responsive if you have questions. Very professional. But yes, he has two sisters, Ding Dong. What do you mean, what sister? Ooh. You cannot be that fucking dumb. Then it came out on the Atlanta show like, oh, Safari ate my pussy on my period. And ah! then Safari was in Jamaica. And we did X, Y, and Z. And now you over here boo -boo crying. And then you want to get on the internet saying, oh, which is for a storyline. Oh, my God. I had no idea that she was sleeping with him while he was with her. Lies. Yes. It's not cap. I have messages from Amada where... I guess she thought, like, they did the scene where Spice came here to Miami, and she thought Erica was going to show up, and she begged me and she had to come just in case Erica wanted to beat her ass. Wow. But I had videos oh, her that's house. The guy. Yeah, you see, the, you see the fucking immigrant? Yes. So it seems like she sent the podcaster a picture of sorts 
someone uh commented this is this is a this that's a disgusting level of low to attempt to get the man back from a place you don't even know if he risked his life getting away he didn't do anything to her someone else said this ice this is why the ish that's happening to you now is happening this is very weird another commenter she will never work for the government in any capacity wasted education this girl is unhinged and i don't know if if this is some sort of attempt to get on to love and hip-hop again but i know one thing they better have a reunion this year they best to have a reunion and i'm gonna tell you something amara i hope you realize that this girl is not your friend this is like a ghetto soap opera a ghetto soap opera what do you guys think of this von Shea character is she too much do you guys watch love and hip-hop miami do you think it's time for her to hang it up flat screen i'm not interested. she just brings a certain level of like low rent to love and hip-hop miami okay we already know these love and hip-hop franchises you know they, they ghetto they a little ratchet and ghetto but this level of low rent mm -mm. i'm not even i'm not even here for it so this video is getting long all right if you made it to this far of the if you made it this far in the video i thank you for coming along on this journey with me this ghetto hot mess of a journey um i want to thank you for watching be sure to check out the video that i mentioned where i talked about uh shay johnson getting into an altercation with eliza rain i probably will link it to the end of this video it should pop up right about now and yeah share your thoughts in the comments y'all if you're keeping up with this come on let's let's chit chat in the comments share your thoughts and opinions and i thank you for watching and until next time y'all talk to you later